Welcome Unreal Developers, you want to know how to store the entire world in a safe game, stay tuned. Actually this is a pretty big topic and it will take multiple videos to do so. But after that you will be able to store every single cube inside your world. You can store where the player is, if he is moving, which direction he is looking. And also you can track every single movement of a cube. If he is moving that will be stored and also the projectiles themselves. So with that being said, these cubes inside of our world are just static meshes tracked in. We can't save them. We need them to be actors. So go to your content browser, press the right mouse key and go to blueprint class. We are going to create a new actor. So select actor and type test cube. This will be our test cube and we have to replace all of them. So add a static mesh, then select the cube and also select the checkbox simulate physics. I just want to show you a little thing. If you drag it out now in your world, you will notice that it is halfway into the floor. And if you drag it out and press the end key on your keyboard, usually it should be on the top of the floor, but it is not. But if you are tracking your static mesh to the default scene route, it will be replaced. And now you will see when you repeat the same steps, it will work. So. Back into our test cube, I want to create a second static mesh and it will be a cube again. I select this lock so all the values will change together and I change it down to 0.8 and drag it up a little bit. And I change the material to this material. So in this way the cube looks a little bit more unique and the reason why I'm doing this is now we can see the direction it is facing. So anyway we created now our cube and it should also interact with the gun. So that's working nice. We can continue. So let's think about what we want to store for our person itself. So the first person character has a movement speed. We want to store that information. Because for instance, if you're jumping across a gap, you don't want to fall him down like a stone because you are loading a safe game. So we need to store the velocity. We also need to store the location where in the world the character is. Um, the jumping that he is in the air is already a part of the placement in the world. So we don't need to store something uh, here in addition. And the last thing we need to store is what direction we are looking at. So with that being said, we are going to create a new blueprint type. It will be a struct. Go to your content browser, click the right mouse button, select blueprint and structure. So I want to give him a little prefix so I can identify them easier. So call it save game. Then what we are going to save, it will be the player and what it is, it is a struct. So what is a struct? A struct is a group of data we can create. And we are going to call here, this is the variable name you can give it. We are going to call it capsule transform because I want to get later on the information from the capsule and the type will be a transform. If you don't remember what the capsule is inside our viewport, this here is the capsule. Inside here the player should be always. So the second thing we're going to create is the way we are looking and we need to get this information from the controller. We need to get the controller rotation. So I type controller location. Oh, sorry, not location, it will be the rotation. And it will be a rotator. And the last thing we need for our character is the velocity. We will get that information from the character movement. So I type character movement velocity. 
and the velocity is always stored as a vector so just select vector and this here is the character movement it will be pretty similar with the projectile so we created everything we need here now we need to think about the other actors in our scene talking about the cube we will cut multiple cubes if you don't know how to multiply an object inside here you can just hold down the alt key and drag the object then it will be multiplied so we will have multiple cubes inside our map so we need to know what cube we are talking about we need a reference to a single cube then what we need to is the location it is stored and we also need when we shoot the cube we need to know which direction it is moving this will be the linear movement and we also need the angular movement of the cube. So for values we are going to create again a struct, blueprints struct and we we'll call it save game item struct. So open it up and the first thing we want to create here is now a um, variable type with the test cube we created earlier. So select the test cube and let's name it item reference. We create a second value, call it transform and make it a transform. The third value will be the linear velocity and it will be a vector again and the last thing will be the angular velocity and it is already a vector so this is everything we need to store the information of an item inside our 3d space so the last thing we want to store are the bullets when we are thinking about the projectiles we got here two values we got the direction it is moving or better said uh, that's the velocity and then we got the location where it is right now and we also got different items we need to reference so let's create another structure blueprint structure and call it safe game projectile struct so inside here we are going to create three values the first value will be the projectile itself and the projectile is from projectile from the first person projectile we select that it's an object reference again then we are going to make the transform and it will be a transform and the last thing we are going to set is the velocity and it will be a vector again so these are the three data types we are going to use when we are creating a safe game we got it for our cube for our projectile and for the player so the next thing we can do is create a safe game so press the right mouse button go to blueprint class and type in this box you can get it that way if you don't have it right now and type save then select it now call it my safe game open it up and inside your safe game you now want to create a variable for all the values you want to save so we want to store our player let's call it player info we want to store all the items in the world let's call it world items and we also want to um, save all the projectiles in the world so call it projectiles and we are going to select the structure types we created earlier so the player struct for the player info for the world info we are going to use the item struct and for the projectiles we are going to select a projectile struct So the difference between those values is we only got one player in a single player game and usually you don't have a safe game in a multiplayer game. So 
we only need one value here, but for the world items it's different. You see a lot of cubes and we want to store them all and just inside here. So when you go to your variable type on the right hand side, you will see here this little icon and if you hover it you see you got here a selection. Usually you got here the single variable which allows you to store one variable type of this type inside. But if you see the array, you can also select that. And what is an array? An array is a series of elements of the same type. That's the important part. You got here a lot of elements inside, as much as you want. And it's always the type that you selected on the left side. So if you select integer and the type array, you can store as many integers inside as you want. So in our case, we can now store inside this array all the cubes we got in our world and we also will set the projectile to be an array and now we can also save all the projectiles inside here so this is why we just need three values created you need to go to compile otherwise you would have issues if you're trying to set a world items array and you did not have compiled it so anyway we are almost done there's just one thing I want to do here anymore. We got set up our shooting with the right mouse button still with our linear tracing. And I want to replace it completely with our new shooting method. So just uh, drag down your input action fire and wire it new up. So now the left mouse button will shoot our line trace. And we can remove all of the nodes from the default shooting add a command like spawn projectile again and I want the uh, line traces to be removed I don't want to see them so here in the debug info just select none we need to do this two times and now we should have our left mouse button set up with our line trace fire, we can move our new cubes. And we got everything prepared for the safe game, which we will cover in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like the video. Visit